last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30-day survival challenge, Maine Lockdown. That'll cook up good. Hunting fever. Ooh, get that bag up. We got a keeper. Three, we got three. <sighs> Headed out to work on the kids' play fort. Yesterday was kind of a bust. It was nice in the morning, but by the time I was done with my video by noon and we had some lunch, it started raining. So we just kind of were lazy. Did some reading of the Narnia and they did artwork and, you know, the lazy kind of stuff. Watched a family movie, worked out, things like that. They played outside a little bit in the morning, but mostly just a bust, so. And the trench is doing its thing. No, oh, there's water in the trench. I was actually expecting uh, more than that after yesterday's rain. It's still just all up here in the yard above the trench. I'm gonna have to dig, rent a trenching tool or something and, and put French drains all through this yard and put it into the trench and dig the trench deeper. It's frustrating. I'm so sick of this being a swamp out here. But that's neither here nor there. And I'm not complaining. Mind you, I'm just explaining because we got some netting that needs to be pulled out. And since it doesn't quite reach the ground at the right angle, I'm gonna have to do some work to that. So less talking, more crazy building. You want the, you want the log out? Out the, without the log. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You can still go faster. That's just fine.
So I'm not sure where I got this construction method from. I just started doing it when I built my first outbuilding that was a uh, giant garage tent over top of my camper that I was living in. Here's a little clip from my first ever attempt at a YouTube video. It was all about blowing up stuffed animals. It's almost been 20 years since I built and was living in that thing. There's a camper inside of there and a big gravel area in front of the camper with a wood stove. And that was the outhouse teepee submarine door. Everybody needs a submarine door out in the middle of the woods. You never know. That was the men's room. The joke was you go through that submarine door and there's nothing. Underneath the white shrink wrap plastic, which is pretty much the same thing as clear greenhouse plastic, except for it's white, and we used it for covering boats back in the day. And I framed up my building a bit like this with these same joints that I used um, just here on the kids' play thing. Diagonal lashing seems to work the best. Uh, it allows it to grab a little tighter. If your saw curves are deep enough and perfect, a square lashing will work as well, but I didn't find that as a cure, and more often than not, that fails. So the beauty of this method is it's extremely load-bearing. I mean, my roof up there in the woods had two feet of snow on it at times, and the the roof beams themselves bowed a little bit, but it, it, they always held. It never collapsed. Um, after seven years, I actually had to cut it down with a chainsaw just to disassemble the whole thing. Now, the trick to succeeding at this is lashing it tight right from the very beginning because when you do your seizing around your lashings, there isn't a lot of room in there like a normal lashing between two pieces of material for you to cinch down those lashings. So you want it to be tight right from the beginning. And lastly, make sure you're getting that seizing up into this joint and not just around the logs where it's doing nothing for it and just wasting line. Dad, push me up, push me up. <laughs> There, now you can really fling yourself down the slide. Huh? You, you swing underneath that and zip down the slide. There you go. That was awesome! <laughs> okay. Let's go.
once I finished getting their little ramp step exactly where I wanted it, I did end up putting four giant lags down through the big board into it to support it so it wouldn't flip off of there on them. And when it comes to building things, I always spend the extra money and have deck mace screws around. Uh, sheetrock screws are garbage for anything but sheetrock, and you can take deck mate screws back out. They'll probably outlast me. Who tilted the basket? Oh, we're all so dirty. You coming? Yeah, because we've been playing around and you've been building. Ah, you just kicked me with your dirty boots. Where's cheese? We got pickles, cheese. we got apples, we got carrots. We got cheese. Pepperonis. Oh, wait, 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 we forgot to say grace. Lord, thank you for our little tree shelter fort thingy. And bless this little picnic to our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. A well-earned snack. High five, guys. Maybe not. Maybe we just keep guys. this one for playing. Right. And then we build the swinging bridge over the other one. And that's where the... Table can be. Yeah. Nice. Hey, what's up, Doc? You don't know who Bugs Bunny is? Are you messing with me? How about who's the best YouTuber ever? Obvious. It's obvious. It's obvious? Oh. Well, you! <laughs> you get to stay up late. You gotta go to bed early. You took too long to answer. 